Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today I'm here at the Compass at VCU to spread the message of freedom. And before I begin, I would like to, I guess, clarify the direction how to actually really get to a free and voluntary society. I know I talked a lot about this in my other videos, but mostly in questions when people talk about well, how do you get there. You know, aside from talking about anarchy and spreading that in your own interpersonal relationships, you have to understand that you really need just a strong minority to, to get there. You don't really need to convince everyone. And along the way, they'll understand, along the way, they'll hear the message, along the way, they'll hear the, the talk that's consistent through a lot of the anarchists that have been unplugged from the matrix, talking about taxation as theft, that uh, the state is immoral, that uh, this is nothing but a state-controlled market. And so, and you can finally see the, you know, ABC extortionists and who, for what they really are. You know, the tax auditors, the uh, regulators, the farm marshals, the building code inspectors, uh, anyone that gets in the way of uh, freedom of interaction. And so, the, the point to get to that point, I have to understand, like, for example, you go to Detroit, where 47% of all homeowners last year stopped paying their property taxes. They stopped. It wasn't so much that they stopped believing in government, it was so much that they saw that government was no longer providing those services. And so if you at least can get to that point where they realize that they can kind of see that government is providing those services, but of course it's a monopolized service, a violent monopoly, but at least they can kind of see that and altogether they can stop. For example, there was a 60 block radius of homes where only one person paid their property taxes. Right? <laughs> so you can get to that point where all of us can, can at one point stop. You know, you need a good 10%, it helps us enough to, to create the paradigm shift towards that free and voluntary society. You know, it's just a strong minority of anarchists. Here you have 208,000 people in Richmond. You just need a good good uh, 10,000 people, those people to realize the truth, to realize what the matrix really is here in this uh, community that's hurting everybody, that's robbing of us of our freedom of our happiness, and to <laughs> turn to our community again. Right, and then once we're united, once we have uh, several thousand anarchists here in Richmond, then that's that's all we need. Because then tomorrow, after that, will be social ostracism day. You know, socially ostracizing all the extortionists here that work for the government. And then that's it. That's all you need. And then then we just stop paying taxes. And not only we can finally say we're done. Right? And of course, every once in a while when the extortionists try to take over a home because they're not paying their property taxes or forking over their, their wealth or their property, uh, we can unite and protect those homes. You know, we can stand guard in front of those homes waiting for those extortionists to arrive. And they're not going to get past a couple thousand anarchists that standing there because the moment they put that kind of attention towards what we're doing, you know, when the media finally understands what's going on here in Richmond, uh, that's something they don't want anyone to know. What? That we're advocating for nonviolence. Right? That we're advocating for peaceful parenting. You know, there's no advocation of violence of any kind, right? So this is a lot of the information and stuff that, of course, the government wouldn't want anyone to hear about. So they're going to try their best to kind of mitigate those instances and meet and try to not uh, help increase uh, this awareness of, uh, of what we're doing here in Richmond. So that's that's really it. That's the best way, that, the most efficient way to get to a free and voluntary society. It doesn't really have to take that long. It just starts with, you know, talking with those you love, talking to those you care about. And um, it begins with, again, change begins at home, you know, within your own uh, community, within your own family, within your own interpersonal relationships. And again, for me, it starts here in Richmond. So thank you for watching, thank you for enjoying. Please share and subscribe, and I'll see you at the victory party. All right, great question. All right, I'm gonna ask you uh, three simple questions. Uh, very briefly discussed ahead and by. Hi! <laughs> yes. All right, so three simple questions. Very briefly discussed ahead and by beyond government and ask what your thoughts and comments are. That's okay. good? All right, first question. So that's the head and by beyond government and that only knows how to solve problems but one way and a singular way and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus the plurality of non-violent solutions that you and I already share. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. so what are your thoughts on that? I just think it's messed up. You know, the government, I don't know. The, I, the government is a big hypocrite. Like, they're all a bunch of hypocrites. They are. They say something, <laughs> but then they contradict themselves. It's like, oh my God. It's like, it's They're sad. the best liars they out there. They are, they are. They'll promise you anything. They'll promise no, you yes. the stars. Yes, yes. Oh my Holy God. Only both for them, right? Obama, you know how much things he promised? And I right? have not seen that one nothing, damn thing. Nothing, nothing. Oh, nothing. you promises. <laughs> damn liars. Right? right. So, that's, so that's it. So that's and that's the hidden violence beyond government. Yeah. Uh, so this moral position that you and I already share against using violence yeah. to solve problems that's called anarchy. Mm -hmm. All right. Like in science, anions and canons and means without archy means rulers. Yeah. So without political rulers, like monarchy means one ruler. One ruler. Anarchy means without political rulers. Mm -hmm. We can still have rules. Mm -hmm. We can still have a polycentric legal system.
so we can have communities of preferences. We don't don't, don't need strangers mm -hmm. arbitrarily dictating, deciding how best our lives should be lived. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's and that's all that government is. Mm -hmm. It's a small group of people, you know, in Congress on a Capitol Hill, just deciding how best everyone's lives should be lived, forcing their idea and preference onto everyone else. Right. Uh, so in a state of uh, in, in, without a government, you have a plurality of uh, free market solutions. Like for example, they have a monopoly on law. They have a monopoly on courts, on judges, on security. You don't have the freedom to cancel, unsubscribe, but have the freedom to create a better service that's not going to be harmful and abusive to the consumer, right? I mean, um, but think about it, like without the government, I mean, I guess the government was created just like like just like religion, to keep some type of order. So think about it, without government, what do you think the, the world would be like? All right, so so like, or they have a monopoly on security, mm -hmm. right? So for, for me, so what if they get rid of a crooked cop, mm -hmm. right? If Wendy's, for example, one of the person was racist, one of the person hit the the customer, mm -hmm. they would people they will get sued and they go bankrupt and they'll, they're out of business. Yeah. All the other businesses say, hey, go with us instead. We're not going to mess with you. Mm -hmm. You know, guarantee. You know, we're here to serve you. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that with a government agency on a monopoly, can't. right? Yeah. They don't. They don't go bankrupt, <laughs> they don't <do> <laughs> right? <laughs> they'll say, they'll just say, my bad. Uh -huh. And even if you do successfully sue them, mm -hmm. uh, the money is actually from everyone else uh -huh. that they take from, right? Do your taxes, yes. right? I was so upset. Like I was working for Starbucks, and literally, like my check every other week was like supposed to be like four hundred fifty dollars, but it was like literally like three hundred and eighty dollars. They took away like sixty dollars, right? $70. So and your paint is so security, you'll never have that in your life. Yeah, when I get old, you think they're gonna help me out? <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is, and, and, that, and that's all that government is. I know, that's all it is. It is. Nice talking. Pleasure to meet you too. Well, right. let me give you some pamphlets if you like. Yeah. Um, anarchy. What do you want me to do with this thing? Well, uh, well, look into it. So, a lot of this stuff is peaceful parenting because the thing is, you can't just say state violence is wrong, but the violence we do to each other is okay. Mm -hmm. You have to universalize it, right? Yeah. So, it's also including the violence that's on the children. You know, spanking children only teaches them that when they grow up that violence is the way to solve problems, mm -hmm. right? And that's why you have a bigger organization of violence called government in the first place. Yeah. So, right. it's a pleasure to meet you then. You take good care of it. And at the same time, government is even founded to more violence. Because at no point can you say, I do want to help the poor, but I don't want to fund war. You have no freedom of economic choice. You still have to give them your money. You still have to give up your property. You still have to pay your taxes. Because if you didn't have a freedom of economic choice, they wouldn't threaten to send you into another cage if you didn't pay your taxes. But I believe in taxes. Right, right. We, we, so so to, we can define taxes then, right? Yeah, so um, as a, I'm a business major. Sure, sure. Let me, let me preface everything I yeah, say yeah, with yeah. that because that's the, that's the background I come from. So right. Business major. Um, I truly believe in taxes and the um, economics of, you know, what they can do. And I do agree they do fund I have family in the military. Right, I was in the military so, too. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but at the same time, I also see what some of our military have done and come, like they come back and they're traumatized. Right. And I don't, like, that kills me. Each and every day that kills me. Um, but I think having a government in itself is not immoral because if people were, just didn't make choices like, that were just like free. Yeah. Most people don't actually, people do whatever they wanted most of the time. And this goes to the point I'm trying to say though. But if you recognize though what government is though, that it only knows how to stop violence or the threat of and use of violence, it contradicts your more position against that already. I don't right? not always. It, but the, the government only knows how to solve problems to violence. And only knowing how to solve problems to, to threatening and use of violence, it has to also steal everyone's wealth and productivity uh, to fund those ideas and services. What government is objectively? Oh, yeah. Oh, right well, government yeah. is objectively, they're a monopolized service. They have a monopoly on security, on roads, on schools, on judges, of courts. You're not allowed to have the freedom to cancel, unsubscribe, or even have the freedom to provide a better service against that monopoly that's not going to be harmful and abusive to the consumers. And that's what government is. They have a monopoly even on first class mail, pieces of paper to deliver. UPS and FedEx can only deliver packages. No one else is allowed to compete. There's a guy who tried 200 years ago. Uh, his name was Alessandro Spooner. He tried to compete. He lowered the prices. He did it efficiently, faster. Government hated it. Like, what are you doing? And then uh, they try to sue him over and over again. Eventually, push him out of business, and then just pass the law. Says no one's allowed to compete with the USPS. And that's why you, that's the only organization we have for that. The cost of stamps has risen over 150 percent. And you think you study business. Anytime you have a monopoly on anything, the cost always rises, and the quality always goes down. The monopoly on the currency in your pocket with the dollar today has lost over 97 percent. Oh yeah, currency. So that, that's what, so there you go. Yeah. So that's the hair and vines behind a lot of that stuff. So and that's what I'm trying to say. We can still have all this awesome stuff. They even have a monopoly on the law, so we can have a pair, uh, polycentric legal system, communities of preferences, apartment complex building that's 420 friendly, one across the street that's not.
Yeah. Right. Thank but I guess I, I want to wrap it up. I guess the point yeah, of position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Run, but this like position though that I'm trying to advocate for is called anarchy. Right? Oh yeah, I've definitely said the anarchy. Yeah. <laughs> so so anarchy by definition, like in science, yeah, anons and canons, and means without, archy means rulers. Monarchy means one political ruler, anarchy means all political rulers. Oh yeah. So we can still have rules. We just don't need the strangers arbitrarily dictating how best our lives should be decided. Yeah? Take that opinion out. Thank right. you. Appreciate it. Oh let me give you some pamphlets before you run off. Thank right, you, appreciate it. Right. And so that's the hidden violence behind government, behind this matrix, this organization, that it only knows how to solve problems the one way, a singular way, and that's to the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus a plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already share. Right. What are your thoughts on that? I like what you said. Yeah? yeah. I appreciate it, man. Sense. So this this moral position that you and I share against violence, using that, that to solve problems, that's called anarchy. Okay. Like in science, like sons of anarchy. Huh? Like sons of anarchy. <laughs> I haven't I've barely watched the show, but uh, I, I guess I should start watching it, I guess. Uh, yeah, so anarchy like means like in science. Anions and canons, and means uh, without, archy means rulers. So monarchy, one political ruler, anarchy means without political rulers. So we can still have rules. We can still have a polycentric legal system. You can have communities of preferences. You can have an apartment complex that's 420 friendly. One across the street that's not, right? But with government, they have to force a preference into everyone, the majority of preference, onto the minority. So it's the greatest good for the majority, but also the greatest evil for the minority, right? So uh, what are your thoughts on that? I guess there needs to be checks and balances everywhere. Right. Well, I guess in the direction I want to do, let's turn to our community and let's turn away from that that contradicts us from the first place. Because if we start using our real voice and start reaching out to one another, we realize we already share these values against violence, for equality, for freedom. And we actually reach out and talk to each other. We realize we never needed a government to begin with. You know? All right, cool, man. My name is Cal. Nice to meet you, Cal. man. Daniel, man. Pleasure. Well, let me give you up some pamphlets if you like. All right. Here you go. Thanks, man. All right, take good care. All right, and then, so that's the hidden violence behind government, and that only knows how to solve problems the one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems, versus a plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I, and my friend here, Cyrus here, already oh. shares. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the hidden violence behind government, that's, that's the matrix. Yep. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Like I said, I'm totally on the same yeah? page. All right, cool, yeah, cool. No, all right, all right, all right, awesome, okay, okay. So I'm actually an international social justice major. Really? So, nice. yeah, okay. so. Nice, all right, so the point, uh, the reason I'm out here is like, so this moral stance that you and I already share against using violence to solve problems mm -hmm. then, that's called anarchy. Uh, like in science, anions and cations, and means without, archy means rulers. Like monarchy, one political yep. ruler, anarchy means without political rulers. Yes. So we can still have rules, it doesn't mean without rules. Mm -hmm. We can still have a polycentric legal system, we can have communities of preferences, an apartment complex, a sports money friendly, if you want to cross the street, it's not. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Uh, so that we can have this rich, diverse, free market solutions to these problems. Right? Instead of uh, what government only knows how to do, is have a monopoly on law, monopoly on security, monopoly on on courts, on judges, on even first-class mail. You can't, you don't have the freedom to cancel, opt out, or even have the freedom to create a better service. It's not gonna be harmful and abusive to the consumer, right? Yep. All right, cool, all right, awesome. wow. <laughs> all right, my name is Cal then. Ashby, nice Ashby, to meet pleasure. you. Ashby, pleasure, and this is my friend Cyrus. Hi, nice to meet He's you. He's a writer here. He's a writer here at VCU. So no, awkward. no, 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 no. So, well, let me give you a pamphlet. No, you're not. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no, I, trust me, people talk to me and I'm just like, oh. Turn around. <laughs> Welcome to college. <laughs> I know, right? They're like, meet new friends, and I'm like, sit in the corner by myself. <laughs> Eat lunch alone. Right? No, no, no. I, that's pretty much how I start off here. Being on cameras has helped me a lot, you know, to oh, yeah, talk and stuff like that. So, so well, thank you. Yeah, Appreciate of course, it. Of course. You guys keep up the good work. Absolutely, absolutely. Inform the populace. Absolutely. <laughs> Take good care. You too. Have a good night. Hey, how are you, man? <laughs>